So the products that you guys should definitely use that is over SPF 50 and officially documented are these Ta -da! products. Hey guys, welcome back to Style Korean's YouTube channel. I'm Namuna. I'm Naomi. Today we're gonna be talking about a hot topic that has been out there for about half a year now. We're here to talk about sunscreen. sunscreen. <laughs> No matter if it's sunny or rainy day, we must all wear sunscreen to protect our skin from aging and hyperpigmentation. But do you really actually know the products that you're using? And are you sure that those products you're using are accurate? Are you sure? The CEO mm -hmm. of Inside Decoder, Inside Decoder, they have unveiled that a lot of sunscreens are not matched with the SPF they mm -hmm. mentioned on their packaging. A whole incident went all over social media and everyone was posting about it and we said goodbye to so oh, many sunscreens. Yes. We're here to tell you today that we have the official documents that tell us the official SPF of the sunscreens that we have. Stay tuned if you're um, you know, interested in finding out which is sunscreens are actually SPF 50 and above. Please make sure to check out our previous video about sunscreens. There's different types of sunscreens including physical and chemical sunscreens mm -hmm. and inside sunscreens they protect you from UVA and UVB. Mm -hmm. So UVA is measured for using the PA levels. Yes. So PA+, PA++, or PA++, depending on how strong they protect you from UVAs. And for UVBs, they measure it using SPF. They measure between you know SPF 20 to SPF 50, which is the maximum level of SPF that is uh, measured. Sunscreens can be over SPF 50, but they are only allowed to be written as SPF mm -hmm, 50. Mm -hmm. So how physical sunscreens work is that they sit on top of your skin and reflect UV away. Mm -hmm. Chemical sunscreens are absorbed into your skin and they absorb the UV rays and turn it into heat. Those are very different types of sunscreens but they could be a combination of both. Yeah. Common ingredients for physical sunscreens include titanium dioxide, dioxide and zinc oxide. oxide. So chemical sunscreens are made of oxybenzone, avobenzone, octisolate, octocrylene, and also uh, many more. <laughs> <laughs> many more. Um, we'll list it here. Yeah, we'll list it somewhere here. If you see these ingredients in your sunscreen, then you can differentiate between physical and chemical sunscreens. And if you see both, that means they're a combination mm -hmm. of physical and chemical sunscreens. Introducing the products and telling you the real SPF of Products. First one, I got this Neogen Dermology Daylight Protection Airy Sunscreen. Mm -hmm. On the package, it stated that it has SPF of 50, but they didn't state the PA. Based on the test result, it has a SPF of 54. 54. Mm -hmm. yeah. Making it a SPF 50 sunscreen. Mm -hmm. This is also a chemical sunscreen. When you apply it, it's really really light and it doesn't have any white cast. It's really really great for people who have oily skin or don't like anything that is too heavy that is sitting on your skin before they apply makeup or you know if they don't like anything heavy. The next one we're gonna mention about is from the brand Tone 28. We have the B1 and B2 sunscreens. Both of these sunscreens are measured SPF 51. Mm -hmm. So it passed the SPF 50 mark. And what is really great is that they separated one for oily skin, which is B2, and B1 is for dry skin. Another great fact about these sunscreens is that they block your skin away from blue light. In our office, there's also a lot of people who wear glasses for blue light because oh, like summer. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, like summer. Blue light is also uh, affects our skin. Yeah. It helps block against blue light that is emitted from our monitors or also our mobile phone screens wow. which is really really useful you can actually apply this in different areas of your skin for example if you have an oily t-zone then you can put the b2 for oily skin on your t-zone and then if you have a dry u-zone then you can use the b1 for dry skin on your u-zone which makes your skin more balanced and you know make your skin feel yeah. not so oily or too dry finally we have a combination sunscreen yay <laughs> it's from tm and it is called Vita Red Sunscreen. It has SPF 50 and PA of 3 plus signs. Based on the test result, it said that it has an SPA of 58 and PA of 23. 23. I passed the test. 
this is the combination sunscreen mm -hmm. so it protects you from both ways Thanks so the so next much. one is one of the more well-known sunscreens that we know and it's the COSRX Aloe Sun Soothing Sun Cream and it's SPF 50 plus PA++++ so this is a physical sunscreen and it's made with aloe vera so it's really really soothing for your skin and mm -hmm. it protects you against AB, UVA and UVBs. There's two test results that we obtained for this brand. One is from the Korea Dermatology, Dermatology Research, Research Institute. Yeah, and the, the one other one is JS. Dot Hamilton, which is located in Poland. For the KDRI, it actually measured an SPF of 54. For the JS Hamilton one, mm -hmm. it measured um, 52. 52, yes. Yeah. So both recorded above 50 SPF, which makes it safe to use and also proves that their SPF label is correct. So the next one is from Isn't Tree mm -hmm. Hyaluronic Acid Watery Sun Gel. Okay, it is for dry skin, obviously. It's a chemical sunscreen. Yes. It says that it has SPF of 50 and PA4 plus size. Based on the test result, it shows that it is SPF 53.5, which um, proves that the label is correct and it's over SPF 50. I've actually tested this myself. People who have oily skin can also use it. use it because it contains hyaluronic acid and hyaluronic acid is actually not a oily or it's heavy. Water, yeah, it's a water-based water ingredient. So um, it's actually really good for also people who have oily skin or dehydrated skin. And the last one is a sun stick. Benton Mineral Sun Stick is made out of physical sunscreen. Mineral sunscreen also means physical sunscreens mm -hmm. and it's SPF 50 and PA++++ so 4 plus. What is great about this is that it's a sun stick so you can easily apply it on your body mm -hmm. or your face especially if you have your boyfriend or your husband or your dad or your guy friend. This comes really handy for them because their neck always burns because yes. they have sunburn they have on your neck hair. because they have short hair. It's really easy for them to reply on your neck this test results proves it to be SPF 58 which proves that it's above 50 SPF 50 and making it safe for you to use as well. That's all we have to introduce to you today. We'll be still looking for more documents on the sunscreens that we carry to introduce to you guys. If you have any information, feel free to let us know in the comment box below and we'll be happy to research more about those sunscreens. But for now, we have the documentations on all of these sunscreens so you guys can feel safe when you're using all of these sunscreens. That's all we have for today. Yes. And we'll see you again in yeah, our next we'll video. See you in our next video. So, bye! bye.